going to be speaking to you about the billion dollar brands of India. In fact, when they were doing my introduction, I asked them to drop the word entrepreneur. And then I said, maybe I should have let it be there because if I'm going to be speaking about billion dollar brands of India, I think they need, you need to know the entrepreneurial side of me. When I started looking at the billion dollar brands of India and we are, you know, we are an emerging economy, we are really doing well in the world, I said, let's see how we stack up in the world. And I went, Googled it up again, and I said, the top 50 brands of the world are listed over there. Uh, we don't have to read them. I can tell you something. There is not a single Indian name over there. So I said, let's, let's go a little further and see what's happening. And I said, the next 50. Surprisingly, there's not a single name there either. So we don't have a single brand from India in the top 100 brands of the world. Do we exist in the top 500? We don't exist even in the top 500. So what's happening? What's happening to this economy and this whole revolution in our country of brands and growth? Where are the brands? I think the reason is we are not looking in the right place. We do have the brands. We are just not looking in the right place. We have been blindfolded by revenue. We are people in India right now who are only driven by numbers. What is the sales figure of this brand? And even that, if you start measuring any of our top brands in India with sales figures, we don't stack up in the, first, in the top 500 in the world either. I like the expression that you have. It's a surprise. Even it was a surprise for me. Because we've been surprised. We are, we are blindfolded with revenue. We have forgotten to create value. We are just not creating valuable brands. We are probably creating brands in India which are replications of something else that's going around the world. And I think we all know the advantage of me being first, of you being first in the market. That's when you create value. That's when you create a brand. That's when you become a global brand. But the story is not that depressing in India. You know, I can see the silence in the audience. I can see all your faces. The truth is, do we innovate enough? Do we create, adapt, and respect our culture, our historical significance? There's so many things about India which we don't realize. Going back to my earlier talk about seeing the invisible. Are we seeing the invisible in India? If you start seeing the invisible in India, you will start recognizing your billion dollar brands because they do exist. We are just not looking at them in the right place. The question is, where do we look for? Brand yoga. That's a billion dollar brand. My 2006 number for brand yoga was six billion dollars. Before I came to make my presentation over here, I updated my information. We are today, the yoga today is a $27 billion business. $27 billion. Do we have a single Indian company with $27 billion? Does yoga belong to India? I've had a pretty interesting relationship with yoga. I did a book, I published a book, I photographed a book. It was called The Great Indian Yoga Masters. I forget the date, it was a few years ago. And uh, everybody told me, why are you doing another yoga book? And the reason I was doing another yoga book was because somebody told me, does, does yoga come from India? And I said, okay, it's time to do a book on yoga and a historical book on yoga. And we documented in our own way, in a coffee table book format, 2,500 years of yoga history from India. And we called it the Great Indian Yoga Masters because we managed to photograph yoga around the world. If I remember correctly, we did it in about nine or ten countries. And when we started selling the book, I started noticing the sales going up outside India. Then the book suddenly was getting translated. So the book now is available in nine international languages. Suddenly, one fine day, I got a call from the United Nations and said, we'd like to gift one copy of your book to every single head of state in the world. That's brand yoga for you. So, I urge all of you to start looking at the invisible 
and finding those billion dollar brands of India and started working towards it. I've got some numbers over here, or especially of a company called Lululemon. Lululemon was a company that incorporated out of Vancouver. They make yoga, yoga clothing, real upmarket clothing. And I, they opened at $270 million on NASDAQ. So it's great business. You just have to look for it. Brand Ahimsa. We don't realize, but it's been with us all throughout. We don't even need a copyright for it. It's that well ingrained with us. Gautama Buddha, Mahavir, Mahatma Gandhi. It's brand Ahimsa. Is, are they a billion dollar brand? I don't think so. I'd like to put a value on any of them. But just to give you some understanding of a few figures, Buddhism today is 6% of the entire world population. So Ahimsa is actually a great business model if you really want to look at it that way. How come we don't invest any of our time to create value? I'm not talking about revenue over here. Don't get me wrong. I'm talking about value over here. How many of us are deriving that value and taking it outside to the world? I had the opportunity to work on a book on Mahatma Gandhi. And the reason I did a book on Mahatma Gandhi is very strange. I realized that the copyright for all the images of Gandhi did not rest in India. Can you imagine where they were? Gandhiji's writings, the copyright rests in India. But the images were all shot by photographers from Germany, from the UK, and from the US. So the copyright lay with them. So if you wanted to print a book today in India with Gandhiji's photographs on it, you can't do that. He's our father of the nation. So while we went out in the world, we got the copyright for it, we compiled the whole book together, and we published a book. So when we published a book, we said, let's publish a book to prove to everybody in the world that he was really priceless. So we printed a limited edition book. It's a pine wood cased book. It's wrapped in silk. It's got a stainless steel plate on it, giving Gandhiji's name on it. Each and every co copy is numbered. Each and every copy has got a seal on it. Each and every copy bought from our company, you register and we have the name. And there are only 1869 copies. 1869 copies because that's the year Gandhiji was born. We said we've done this right, now what do, you, what, what do we do next? I said we have to price this book. So today we retail the book for 32,000 rupees a copy. It sells. Now comes the problem. What do we do with that money? Because we, ha we make the money, but what do we do with that money? That's important. So we actually reproduce that entire book into a student edition, which we actually give away free at about 200 or 250 rupees when pe people visit the museum. <laughs> what I'd like to point out is become entrepreneurs, find the billion dollar brands of India, go out there, sell high, create value, and in the end, do good also. You can complete the whole cycle. Mont Blanc did something which I did, and they were selling, they sold about 241 pens for $35,000 each pen. I don't know what they did with the $8.4 million that they raised from it. But what I'm trying to tell you is you can do the same and you can use that money to create value in India. Gandhiji's photographs today are used around the world. You have a photograph over there from Apple. Apple's first campaign actually had Mahatma Gandhi on it. You have a telephone company out of Italy. They have used the name. I'm not upset. You know, in India we get upset when somebody uses the name and image of Mahatma Gandhi outside. We say, let's take them to court. Let's shut them down. I'm telling them, stop wasting your energy after them. Get real. Own your brand. Take it forward. There's a lot to be done. We don't need to go behind them with what they are doing with Gandhiji's image over there. I think the youth need to realize that the brand, the, the opportunity lies with us. And when you make money, you make money at a high end and you create value with that. Empower yourself. Ahimsa brand belongs to us. 
We don't need a copyright. I think we've got 5,000 years of history backing us up on that. All the temples. So let's go and do that. This is a Western Union ad. It shows how money gets transferred from India to the US and back. Again, they've used, they've used a leader of theirs and they've used Mahatma Gandhi. The journey just goes on. So it's, 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 you have to just empower yourself and take yourself as forward as you want on this. Handful of salt. I think most of you know that I'm going to be starting to talk about the salt march. But do you know how powerful the salt march actually is? Salt march has actually been declared as the second most important event in world history for any nation's independence. So the first one is the Boston Tea Party, which got the United States independence. The second is the Salt March, which got us, in a way, our independence. The third is the March on Washington, Martin Luther King. So these are the top three, and we come number two over there. I think there's a huge learning over there that Gandhiji actually sat down one fine day in the ashram and says, I need to cause change. And this is my way of thinking that he must have taken an envelope out, taken the pen or pencil that he had. He says, let me see how I can change. So he must have, you know, put a little cross and says, Sabramati, let's go to Dandi. That's 241 miles. 241 miles. I think I can walk 10 miles a day. So we'll do it in 24 days. 24 days, I need to stop for lunch and I need to stop for dinner. So that's why he stopped for 48 villages. 24 for lunch, 24 for dinner. He started with 72 people. He ended at uh, Dandi with 100,000. And he had 300,000 Indians breaking the, law, the salt law at the same time. He basically broke the backs of the British at that point of time. And I have one more very interesting number for you. 1,390 newspapers carried the story around the world. So you can have the best PR agency today and they can't do that. So it's doable. Harsh started off a very small little effort over here. He can go global tomorrow and he can shake up the world. He just has to believe in it. Brand Jungles of India. I found this, I was not going to put this slide in, but you know, I found something very disturbing and I thought that this is the time that we need to talk about it. This is a little quote from uh, an author, Valmik Thapa. I have never met him. I just found the quotation and I said that we all need to know. Maharaja of Udaipur shot at least 1,000 tigers. The Maharaj of Vijayanagaram, 325. The Maharaja of Suraj around 1,100 and Maharaja of Reva 500 and so on. These are the killings that took place of tigers between 1930 to 1960. At independence, we had around 40,000 tigers. By the 1950s, I think we were left with 4,000. I don't know what the current day number is, but I think it's much, much, it's, it's really low. I'm sure it's lower than 4,000. Well, what I'm trying to tell you is there was a huge opportunity of brand wildlife in India, and we seem to be losing it. If you ever go down to Africa, you'll see how that continent really cashes on that opportunity over there. I'm going to be going to South Africa in a couple of weeks because I'm holding the Nelson Mandela Gandhi Youth Summit over there. And I see the opportunity that wildlife provides to that country, the income that it provides. How come we are not looking at it? How come we are not enabling ourselves with it? How many of you have seen the tiger in real, outside the zoo? One, two, three, four. Out of a hundred, four or five people. I think there's opportunity just here in this room. Before I end my talk, I'd like to share a little film with you. And it's to respect the wildlife of India. The film was created by a friend of ours, He's Sudesh, he's a wildlife photographer. And I'll have to request all of you to stand up for the film, please.
Thank you so much.